Are you looking for a way to reduce overbearing and distracting sounds on a vocal track? Enter de-essing, a mixing technique that's commonly used to reduce excessively loud S sounds on vocal tracks. De-essers are often used to control harsh sounds present in specific frequencies. The new N-Track Dynamic EQ works great for de-essing vocals. In fact, it works even better than classic de-essers based on multiband compression, which we'll get into later in this video. You can use our Dynamic EQ plugin as a de-esser in the latest version of N-Track Studio on iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. Simply update the N-Track Studio app in App Store or Google Play, or download to the latest desktop version from ntrack.com. In this video, we'll be using Ntrack Studio for Android. Note that while the EQ is available in the standard edition, activating the dynamic features of the EQ require the extended or suite editions of Ntrack Studio. The easiest way to get to EQ is by opening the mixer and clicking on EQ. The latest Ntrack update also adds the ability to use the EQ as a plugin Tap Add Effects, then click the plus icon, and then Dynamic EQ. Let's dive into it. It's difficult to beat the added control afforded by de-essing with Dynamic EQ. In this example, we can see and hear more than one frequency range being controlled in a different way. The Dynamic EQ is acting as a compressor. When the signal in the frequencies that make up the S vocal sound increase in amplitude and any other problematic frequencies, EQ starts to reduce the band gain dynamically. And here's how it sounds without the dynamic features added to the band. Let's hear an example of a vocal track with S sounds which stand out too much in the context of the mix. We want to bring down the volume of those heavier S sounds to make things more consistent. If we use the EQ to cut around the frequency in which we hear these strong S sounds, it's going to darken the vocal part for the whole length of the track, which is a strong side effect. You'll typically need to adjust a band's frequency and slope to make sure you pick the correct frequencies, which will likely change depending on the melody and the singer's voice. Let's start by going to the presets menu in the Dynamic EQ plugin, tapping the Dynamic folder and selecting Deesser. We'll see a dynamic curve drawn onto the EQ graph with a thin precise slope to target very specific frequencies and a negative dynamic gain value, so any excess signal in that frequency range gets reduced. So how do we find the frequency that we need? Well, this is when we need to use our ears. Let's first disable the dynamic features from the band menu. We're doing this so that we can get a true static representation of how boosting the signal sounds. A quick method is to use a positive gain to pinpoint the frequency space that the disturbing sound occupies. Once we've found that frequency, we can set the gain back to zero and let the dynamic EQ work its magic. To do this, we'll tap the node and enable the dynamic button on the band menu to activate the dynamic features. It's worth mentioning that with Dynamic EQ, it's possible to tune in a more specific frequency range than with a classic de -esser. As well as being able to manipulate the slope value and number of bands, Dynamic EQ also gives the freedom of being able to boost and cut incoming signals, while multiband compressor plugins are usually restricted to gain reduction only. Multiband compressors also have the drawback of always applying some processing to the signal due to their crossover filters. In a de configuration, when the dynamic reduction is not engaged, the dynamic EQ is perfectly transparent. It doesn't modify the signal at all. 
When DSing, normally one of two band curves are used. A band boost or cut shape can be used to increase or reduce the energy of the signal in a specific area on the frequency spectrum, around the center frequency of the filter. A band cut is particularly useful when very specific ranges of the frequency spectrum need to be targeted. A high shelf can also be used and allows a wider cut or boost of all frequencies above the cutoff frequency. This is useful when there are a lot of unwanted sounds clustered together in a broader frequency range that we might want to reduce or exaggerate dynamically. We can hear how boosting or reducing the gain with a high shelf curve in higher frequencies affects the sound. Using the dynamic EQ, we can reduce the gain only in the moments that our vocal part sounds too loud and in the frequency range we've chosen. Returning to a previous vocal example, we have a hard-hitting S vocal sound at a specific frequency, but otherwise that frequency range isn't distracting. We got too much to lose, we got so much to do, with little time to Instead of using a traditional static EQ to cut to turn down so the frequency range in question and darken the whole lose. vocal part, we, we can utilize dynamic EQ so to react to only in the moments we need to reduce to gain in certain frequencies. Setting the dynamic threshold value affects how sensitive the selected band is to the dynamic. The EQ's dynamic gain is applied only in the moments when the incoming signal exceeds the decibel value we've set in the threshold setting. The dynamic attack setting adjusts how quickly gain is applied to the selected band. The dynamic release knob adjusts the speed at which the selected band returns to normal after the level of the input signal level decreases. To DS our vocal, we'll set attack With and release values low juice. because we want With a fast time reaction time. With little time the juice. 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 Here's how the same vocal part sounds with higher attack and release values. Manual DSing with volume automation, though more time consuming, is another highly regarded way of DSing vocal parts. This is when the gain envelope on a part is reduced using nodes, which are added and adjusted to affect the volume of track parts that stick out too much in the mix. Take a side, take a side, so let's take add a some side, nodes, take a side, take a side, take locate a, side, a part like that, a side, take a side, take and hear how it sounds. Take a side, 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 take a side. We have a specific video on the latest automation features available in Entrack Studio which we'd recommend that you check out. Link in the top right of the video. There have been a whole host of updates in the latest version of Entrack Studio with Dynamic EQ, Arpeggiator, Lo-Fi Plugin and more. We keep an eye on the comments, so always let us know what you'd like added to Entrack moving forwards. Also, please give this video a like, subscribe so we can keep the channel growing and ding that notification bell so you know when our next video is out. Until then, have fun making music with Entrack. Cheers.